Hi and welcome to the James Oliver Guitar Channel and this is vinyl video number 50. So after today's video we would have shown a thousand albums in the vinyl albums I love slash albums and artists that inspire me series. So we'll keep going after this. Uh, there's another thousand or so albums in the collection. Of course there's doubles and different presses etc. But we'll keep going. We've got a couple of 10 inch records to start. This is Johnny Bach and the Moonshine Booze as of course features... Cardiff's very own John Lewis and guitarist Daryl Hyam. This is a really good rocking record. They do Johnny Hooker's Boom Boom. Brand new Cadillac is on this. Folsom Prison. Oh, it's just a really, really good record. If you're into your rockabilly, you know, your roots rock and roll, this is a really cool album and it's definitely worth checking out. And I think it's super cool that it's on a 10 inch, much like the Johnny Burnett Trio, etc. And that's number one. I know it was Sean Welsh Act. And that's number one in the series today. Up next, probably my favourite Pirates album, also a uh, 10 inch. This is the Fistful of, du Fistful of the Booleans album, which come after Out of Their Skulls and Skull Wars. This features Lindy Lou and Iaz, Put Your Cat Clothes On, Sweet Love On My Mind, Lonesome Train, Milk Cow Blues, Cast My Spell, Tricky Dicky, Tear It Up, and Culagra, it's on the Demon Records label, and again it's a 10 inch, much like the Johnny Burnett Trio, which I believe was a, the Johnny Burnett Trio album was a big influence on the Pirates, as it probably was on John Lewis as well, and it is on me and everybody else who's really into this music. So there we are, that's album number two, that's a cracker. There's also a 12 inch version on the Ed Cell label. Up next, another 10 inch album. This is the Hank Williams Memorial album on MGM, the wonderful one and only Hank Williams. Your cheating arts on this, set in the woods on fire, hey good looking, cold cold heart. He lagers on this one as it is on the pirates one, jambalaya's on this, rambling man. And it's just fantastic country with Hank Williams. Doesn't get much better. Up next then, this is Neil Young and Crazy Horse with Sleeps With Angels. This is a cracker, this. Some of my favourites on this, of course, are Western Hero, Change Your Mind. Piece of Crap is a good one. He's been doing Western Hero again recently with Promise to the Real. It's a really good song. Primal Life is on this. For me, the standout track, though, is Change Your Mind. So that's Neil Young and Crazy also with Sleeps with Angels. Fantastic pedal steel guitar here now is the, the one and only Lloyd Green, of course. Lloyd Green and his steel guitar. Nashville Chimes. Murlagas, Augie from Miskogi's on this. Tom's Tavern Blues, which is one of his five string steel, which is a favourite track of mine on the record. And I mean, Lloyd Green has played steel guitar with everybody, and uh, this is definitely worth checking out for fans of instrumental steel guitar stuff. It's second to none, doesn't get much better. More guitar instrumental stuff. This is The Ventures with Colourful. One of the great instrumental groups, in my opinion, along with The Shadows. Blue Moon is on this. Red Top. Which I think is the same red top that Ernest Tubbs band did. And um, Yellow Birds on this, Silver City, Blue Moon. Every album recorded by The Ventures has the best, has the fast hits, the best, the best sellers. So there we are, The Ventures, and there they are. I've shown Walked on Run and I've shown the self titled Ventures album. This is the American Press on the Dalton label. But that's the kind of they are on the front look with the with the Strat and the Jazzmaster. Excellent. Up next is Waylon Jennings for Honky Tonk Heroes. This is my favourite Waylon album. Tracks on this like Honky Tonk Heroes, All Five and Dimers, Willie the Wandering Gypsy and Me, Black Rose, Rising Down Easy. If this album had Waymore's Blues on it, it'd be perfect. So there we are, that's Honky Tonk Heroes by... Way long Jennings. Up next, this is Gunfight the Ballads by Marty Robbins. Grady Martin played guitar on this, I believe. Big Iron, Cool Water, Billy the Kid, El Paso. Really good country stuff. In the Valley, The Master's Call. And it's on the CBS label, and it's just Marty Robbins doing what Marty Robbins does best. Up next, this is Johnny Winter and Uncle John Turner. Of course, Uncle John Turner being Johnny Winter's drummer. 
Made in the shade, they call me lazy. Driving wheel, fabulous version of the driving wheel on this. Just a little bit, you're unbugging me. Mike Cadillac Johnson on bass, rather than uh, Tommy Shannon, who was on that early stuff with Johnny Winter and Uncle Uncle John. So who else? Johnny Winter and Uncle John Turner. This is the Jeff Healy band, great blues rock. We're held to pay Jeff Healy, of course, played guitar flat in his lap. While my guitar gently weeps is on this, which is the, the, my favourite version. Hell to pay, highway of dreams, full circle. I can't get my hands on you, it's just Jeff Ely's blues rock. Just absolutely brilliant. Another compilation, this is the Blues Volume 2 on the Pi International label, of course. The Pi International label is the uh, UK distributor for the Chess Records label. Chuck Berry, 30 Days. John Lee Hooker, Sugar Mama, Mojo Working, Maddie Waters, I'm a man, Bo Diddley, Evil by Howling Wolf, Key to the Highway, Little Walter, Wee Wee Hours, Chuck Berry, 10 years ago, Buddy Guy, So Many Roads, Otis Rush. Volume 1 and Volume 2 are must guess for the must haves, must gets for the blues fans, that's for sure. Maddie Waters, I'm Ready, this of course features uh, Johnny Winter, Walter Orton on the uh, harmonica, Pine Top Perkins on piano, Jimmy Rogers on guitar, I'm Ready. 33 years, Hoochie Coochie Man, Rock Me, Screaming and Crying, Good Morning Little School Girl. I really like the cartoon cover. The uh, Hard Again album and the King Bee album and this album, I'm Ready, with Johnny Winter on. Sort of rejuvenating Muddy's career for the better. And it is fantastic. There's no doubt about it. Up next, we've got a bit of James Taylor. This is Mudslide, Mudsl Mudslide Slim and the Blue Horizon. This is my probably my favourite James Taylor album. Love that brought me around, riding on the railroad. Mudslide Slim, of course. The Highway Song, Let Me Ride, Machine Gun Kelly. What a songwriter James Taylor is, and I think he's a real underrated acoustic guitar player also. I seen him in Cardiff a few years ago, and it was a fantastic night. That's for sure. Up next, the cricket, something old, something new, something blue, something else. The cricket, of course, without... Uh, by the Ollie, they do Johnny Otis, is Willie the Angi, Eddie Cochran, Summertime Blues, Ray Charles is What I What I Say, Fats Domino, they do Blue Monday, Fats Domino song of course, Love is Strange, Blue 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 Day, which I think is a Don Gibson song, I think, but it's just a nice album. But the Crickets is on the uh, Liberty label, as you can see, and. Uh, I love the crickets and I love Buddy Ollie and I'd love to have Blue Days and Black Nights on the 45. So if anybody's watching, I'll try and, if it's good, the price is right, I'll buy it off you. This is Joni Mitchell with the Count and the Spark. Count and Spark, this is the wonderful Joni Mitchell. This and Blue are my favourite Joni Mitchell albums. Count and Spark Help Me, Free Man in Paris, People's Parties. Raised on Robbery, Troubled Child. I mean, she plays in all them wonderful guitar tunings, and it's just absolutely mes absolutely mesmerising. It's on the Asylum label, so the same la label as Jackson Brown and the uh, Eagles, etc. This is a classic, Rumours by Fleetwood Mac. It's a great album, Second Hand News, Dreams, Never Going Back Again. I love Lindsay Buckingham's guitar playing, Don't Stop, Go Your Own Way, Songbird, The Chain, You Make Loving Fun. Gold Dust Woman. It is one of the all time classic albums ever. Rumours by Fleetwood Mac. I had to show her at some point. You know, the series isn't just about rare albums, it's about good music. And good music is good music, whether the LP's worth 10 pence or a thousand pounds, you know. This is Red Hot and Rock in the, the, the uh, Marauder, sort of a, an 80s sort of bluesy pub rock band. Really good band, you know, vocals, harp, sort of job. Dr. Feelgood esque. Mess it up, I hear you knocking. Dirty work, another day. Red, red eyes, tougher than tough. Head to toe, riding the L and N, of course. Nine Below Zero, famous for doing that one. It's on the Blues House label. And it's out of Rochdale, this uh, label. And uh, it's just a good album. I assume they would have sold this out at gigs. Because I haven't seen, seen another one. I don't think it's expensive, but I haven't seen an, an, another one. Joe Ely with high res, big Joe Ely fan as you know. What's shaking tonight? Cool Rock and Loretta, my personal favourite on this. Lipstick in the Night is on this. 
She's going to get the get in. I hope and assume that Jesse Guitar Taylor played on this. Love his playing. And uh, the more Joe Ely, the better, I say. Up next, this is Carl Perkins with all blue suede shoes, his back. Big Carl fan, as you all know. Still looking for the dance album on the London label. A nice copy there. Rock around the clock, that's all right. Key Liger, which is on the Hank Williams album. It's on the Pirates album. It's on this album. Bebop Alula, Alula, Maybelline. Hung up my rock and roll shoes, shake, rattle and roll. Carl Perkins is on the guitar. He's a wonderful guitar player. I mean, watch that um, concept with Clapton on and Mickey G and Edmonds, etc. And he sits down and just plays like a guitar picking piece on his own. And he doubles the notes up so it sounds like Les Paul. It's absolutely stellar. You know, it's just really, really good. It's on the Jet label. I think, he, you know, I just think superb Carl Perkins. And last but not least, for the episode... 50. Dwayne Eddy, girls, girls, girls. Dwayne Eddy is Twangy Guitar and the Rebels. Brenda's on this, Tammy, Big Liza, that's the, the, the standout track for me on there. Sweet Cindy, Patricia, Mona Lisa, Connie, Cara, it's all them girls' names. The Jordan A's are on here as well. Courtesy of Decca Records. I just love all that stuff, you know, like when you see a 45 with instrumental accompaniment and courtesy of Decca Records and on the old Rockabilly Records, upright bass and Fender electric bass. Just gets me every time. So there we have it. There's episode 50. I'll keep going. I ain't going to stop until I run out of records. I'm always buying more. Um, so don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you all again soon for vinyl video number 51. I appreciate it. Cheers.